Today is Saturday, February 24th, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is A Witness to Your Generation. Our opening scripture is taken from Acts 5, verse 32, and it says, And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. Hallelujah. Did you know that God expects that your friends and colleagues, co-workers, business associates, schoolmates, family members, co-tenants, and all those he ever connects with you who aren't yet born again will get to hear the gospel through you for their salvation? They are all hanging on to the trust committed to you by God. He holds you responsible as their witness. Wow, you are the witness to your generation. Therefore, be committed to bringing salvation to those in your world. That's where your fulfillment in life lies. You become a fruit-producing branch, fulfilling what Jesus said in John 15 verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. You are a fruit-producing branch, bearing fruits of righteousness, and manifesting works of righteousness. You carry the seeds of the kingdom of God inside you. That's your number one ministry in life. Oh, remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added, added unto you. Praise God. Pastor says to make the expansion of his kingdom in the earth, your priority and its glory will be manifested in and through you. You have to come to the realization that the gospel, the same message that saved your life, has been committed to your trust. Hallelujah. Paul knew it. Yes, Paul knew it. Do you know it? Hence, he declared in 1 Timothy 1 verse 11, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. Wow. So pastor goes on to say now in conclusion, take personal responsibility for the gospel and you will live an absolutely fulfilling and impactful life. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, Father, thank you for the blessing of being counted faithful to be a minister of reconciliation. Thank you for your glorious gospel, which has been committed to my trust. I'll keep preaching it boldly everywhere and to everyone until the whole earth is filled with the knowledge of your glory and your salvation and righteousness reign upon the nations in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, for further study, please read 2 Corinthians 5, 18 to 20, 1 Corinthians 9, verse 16, and Mark 16, verse 15. Glory to God, saints. We've got a ministry. Praise God. It is that of reconciling men to God. So, Pastor said to us, take personal, personal responsibility for the gospel and you live an absolutely fulfilling and impactful life. Yes, that's our number one business. Let's keep at it. Bearing fruits and much fruits. Blessed be God. All right, for further details, please contact us on any of our social media handles or visit any Christ Embassy Church 